open societies require defined borders. Mm -hmm. You have to say, mm -hmm. there's two things going on here. Some years ago, I did an interview with Isaiah Berlin for the New York Review of Books mm -hmm. on, on this subject. Cultural pluralism. Cultural pluralism, in, as he talked about it in those days, was defending belonging. Mm -hmm. Defending people who have a community which by definition excludes other people. That sense of belonging, kith and kin, language, memories, and so on. Now cultural pluralism means how do you integrate people. Uh, so that you have to deal with that dimension. Then there's the fiscal dimension. Societies are and, and cultures are open systems. But nation states and communities are not open systems. They're fiscal jurisdictions with tax benefits and social contracts devised by people who live there, who live somewhere. If you have entries into the system, You've got to deal with that. And I think what Paul wrote in the New Statesman about Sweden, the new Swedish Social Democrats, I mean, yeah, the Swedish Social Democrats, or Danish, no, da Danish. Danish, sorry, Danish. Danish, Danish Social yeah. Democrats are dealing with that, that issue. Yeah. So, and the final point is on that, for example, look at Canada. You know, Canada has the right, like I said before, you want the values of inclu inclusive society, but you need to understand open societies require defined borders. So, Canada took 26,000 refugees from the Syrian Civil War uh, for, as asy asylum. But they have a very strict immigration policy. To get into Canada, you have to have skills and assets, 60% they call economic class, and only 20% come in by family relationship. In the US, it's the opposite. In the US, 60% come in by family relationship, but only 20%. So you get a backlash because a social contract developed by people who live somewhere is being disrupted. So, so that's one, so right. you have to balance that, but you, not in a nationalistic incantation way. You don't go after people and demonize them. But you have to deal with the reality that that's, there, are, there are fiscal realities and social contract realities and cultural realities. 